Previously on the Big Bang Theory. Hello. I'm looking for Howard Wolowitz. May I ask what this is about? No, you may not. Oh. Very well. Hi, Colonel Williams. How can I help you? Uh, okay, sure, I can meet with you on Thursday. Caltech is fine. Yeah, and may I ask what this is about? <laughs> I may not. <laughs> That's what he said to me. <laughs> Look at this. Elon Musk has a theory that we're all just characters in some advanced civilization's video game. So some alien kid spent his money on the asthma and glasses upgrade for me? <laughs> Well, he, he doesn't say it's a good game. <laughs> All right, we got a problem. What's up? The Air Force contacted me about our quantum gyroscope. They want to have a meeting. Really? Yeah, this military guy showed up at Howard's dorm. He was terrifying. Oh, God, what did he say? He gave me his business card and asked me to please pass it along to Howard. <laughs> that doesn't sound terrifying. Uh, to a white guy born here, no. <laughs> To a brown guy whose name has a lot of syllables in it? Terrifying. <laughs> you realize if the military declares our research classified, they can take the whole thing away from us. Yeah, and if that happens, we'll never be able to sell it commercially. There goes our big payday. I was counting on that money. I need to make as much as my wife so I don't have to try so hard in bed. <laughs> you do that too? Oh, yeah. How do you think I stay this thin? <laughs> Gentlemen, I think we are losing sight of the real issue. We are on the precipice of becoming faceless cogs in the military-industrial complex. Isn't that exciting? Well, you're kidding, right? Well, not at all. In Star Wars, when the stormtroopers would march in perfect formation, harassing civilians, didn't you ever think, hey, that could be me? <laughs> Sheldon, we could be contributing to a weapon system that oppresses mankind for the next thousand years. Okay, Howard's on board. What do you think, Leonard? Wait till I Snapchat that my friends might be working on a top secret government project. Are you crazy? You can't put that on Snapchat. Fine, I'll put it on Facebook like a caveman. You know, maybe before our meeting we should talk to a lawyer. It's not a bad idea. No, you must have someone in your family that's a lawyer. Why, because I'm Jewish? It's like me saying, hey, you're Indian. Doesn't your cousin work in a call center? My cousin does work in a call center. And my cousin's a lawyer. We don't need Howard's cousin. No. We have me. You're not a lawyer, Sheldon. You're just a know-it-all. I am not a know-it-all. I'm a person who knows lots of things and likes to correct other people when they're wrong. That's the definition of being a know-it-all. <laughs> or in German, a besser wisser. <laughs> Give me a second to call my cousin. I don't see how a tax lawyer from Fort Lauderdale could be helpful regarding intellectual property. First of all, he's in Boca Raton, which is better than Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> but more importantly, he lasted two days on Jeopardy, so he's clearly a smart guy. <laughs> Hey, Marty. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for going to outer space. So no matter what I do, my mom will be disappointed in me. <laughs> well, I married a little Catholic girl, so we're even. <laughs> anyway, this is Leonard and Sheldon. The three of us came up with the guidance system. Hi. Hello. And this is my friend Raj. Oh, I'm not on the patent. I'm just here because there's a bumblebee in my office. <laughs> I saw it. It's big. <laughs> Anyway, like I said in the email, this meeting's on Thursday. Do you have any advice for us? Well, I don't know much about patent law, but uh, my advice is hear them out, offer as little information as possible, and whatever you do, don't sign anything. Don't sign anything, but that's your advice? Okay, so uh, if during this meeting one of us were to say, complete an oil painting, you'd recommend that we leave that unsigned? <laughs> that's not what I meant. That's what you said. That's not what I meant. <laughs> This must be how you practice law in Boca Raton, by saying things you don't mean and meaning things you don't say. Howard, why is he yelling at me? <laughs> All right, you were on Jeopardy. Allow me to Alex Trebek this and put it in the form of a question. Who has been a complete waste of our time? 
Marty, let me call you back. Someday when I'm up on murder charges, you'll be hearing from me. You don't need him, I'll represent you. 